Officials go door to door in a citywide sweep in Wuhan to identify anyone infected with the virus. Over in Wuhan, another doctor died while fighting the virus on the front lines. It's also emerged that more than 500 cases across China are in prisons. Six people have died in an outbreak of the new coronavirus, which has now reached the United States. Across the country, at least 21 million kids now home from school. Slippery Rock University. They're confirming 21 new cases over this past week. Slippery Rock University has now decided to cancel spring break study abroad as a precaution. It was March 20th, 2020. I woke up and the world seemed drastically different. From keeping distance from my friends and fellow classmates to the inability to live my everyday life in normalcy. Immediately, I found this email sent to students and faculty. Dear students, earlier this week you received an email announcing Slippery Rock University would be moving to fully online classes for the remainder of the semester. This is a rapidly changing situation, which would understandably cause you to feel a whole range of emotions, including confusion, frustration, and anxiety. We want you to know that although our university is going to look quite different for a little while, our student-focused services will continue to be available to you. We recognize the challenges this outbreak has created for everyone, but one of our university's key strengths is our sense of community, so it is important that we all support each other during these unusual times. When we look back on how we handled this crisis, we will be judged by our ability to come together to support each other, maintain our composure, and to solve problems. Remember that your university is here for you. Until we meet again, be well. As soon as I gathered my thoughts from what had just happened, I reached out to a friend of mine to get his perspective. Um, so when the pandemic hit, it was, you know, going from like, okay, everything is, you know, like you're just living out your daily life and then like, suddenly you know this pandemic breaks out and then now it's like we're locked inside of our house and i wasn't able to do a lot of things that i love to do on a daily basis it was okay at first a little bit just because it was something new and we were like oh you know what this is just for you know a short time and it will all end soon and so um, i wasn't too worried at first but then eventually it just kind of hit me and it changed a lot the pandemic definitely did have an impact on my goals. Um, I had certain things set that I wanted to accomplish that I wasn't able to. Uh, also, like with our family, you know, arriving here um, with, you know, no one on campus, it was hard. My social level kind of like decreased because I wasn't having that normal interactions with people on a daily basis. And I didn't think we'd be able to get back to a state of tranquility. It truly seemed like things were only getting worse. It was on this day, October 23rd, 2021, SRU came out with an article stating, The phrase back to school is more empathetic this year after Slippery Rock University started fall semester classes August 23rd while operating at pre-pandemic capacities. Last year, approximately 80% of classes were online because of COVID-19, but campus life is more traditional this year, other than the wearing of face masks indoors. It was hard to believe, but this was the start of things falling into place. Uh, it was definitely a major shift in my life as well as everyone else's, I'm sure. Um, it kind of just hit me abruptly because I was in a musical at the time uh, at my school. So that, like my first real wake up to like, oh, we're in a pandemic, this is serious, was when our director like called us on stage and he said, well, we're gonna have to postpone the show for at least two weeks and we'll keep you updated. I think the biggest thing that I've noticed, social interaction is not what it used to be. And like people aren't as friendly anymore and it's it's harder to meet people and make new friends. So I think it's it's all about just putting yourself out there and going out of your comfort zone to to put yourself into situations that you haven't been before. I know there was there's like a a campaign rock the shot that kind of failed. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah. It was like trying to get students vaccinated against covid the grand prize was like president barry getting a tattoo of the student body's choice so that i think rubbed a lot of people the wrong way and there could have been uh you know better ways to get students caring about protecting themselves and 
the health and safety of everyone else. It was April 23rd, but today felt different. Hope was back in our vocabulary. SRU was hosting an event that allowed students and the community to come together after a harsh period of isolation. This marked the beginning of a new chapter where we didn't know what to expect next. 